Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a great resource for the bounty hunter. Now we have a lot of different things we've had for the trader role. We've had tons of different things for the collector. Everyone knows about the collector map, stuff like that. But there really hasn't been nothing out there for the bounty hunter, nothing at least solid that you could kind of just use over and over again to kind of grind it out. Now, again, we know collector role pays a lot more, but sometimes it gets really mundane doing that over and over again. And the tra trader role itself is pretty much just broken. Every once in a while, you can just get a wagon. Luckily, if you're doing other stuff throughout the game, maybe at least a wagon a day, stuff like that. Some people's gotten luckier. But anyway, let's get to the bounty hunter thing. Now with this uh, resource, you're gonna have all the different spawn locations. I would say probably between 75 to 80% of the bounties that you'll actually get. And there's gonna be a direct link to this. Now again, with it, of course the bounty hunter, like I said, doesn't pay as much as a collector, but this is gonna give a little bit more life to the bounty hunter role, you know, kind of just mix your day up. So let's go ahead and just pull this up real quick. You're gonna have a direct link to this. And this is what it looks like right here. Now, first off, I just want to give credit to a user named Harms Way. It's Harms Dash Way. And they spent pretty much, they said, weeks up to a month or so putting all this together. And you can see all the different areas. You got like Butcher's Creek, uh, Heartland Overflow, all the different places where the bounties will actually spawn. You got Window Rock, you know, even St. Denise Graveyard. It pretty much covers everywhere around the map. Now, there's going to be a couple in here that you're not going to see. But I would say majority of these are some of the best ones that I know, especially I do a lot of the ones over to Blackwater and St. Denis and stuff. And uh, it covers a lot of them all the way down to Thieves Landing and stuff by Stillwater Creek and stuff. So you'll get the link, the direct link will look like this. If you click on it, it'll zoom in and better and you can see them a whole lot better this way right here. You can kind of see exact locations and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's really cool actually. They spent a lot of time on that. And I try to share resources every once in a while when I run across things like this, like the collector role map and stuff when it first came out. This is the first time I've ever seen anything for the bounty hunter role. So whether you're playing the game now or if you just want to put this on the shelf so when the new update comes out, whenever that is, you can kind of start using this again. But either way, it's just another tool for Red Dead Online. So if you do want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online, anything else is coming out with a game, make sure to hit that sub button and bell notification. So anytime videos go up, you get notified right away. So you can jump on the different methods of stuff I get to share with you guys. And also too, if you do me a favor, go ahead and give the video a like. Yeah, just comment down, say hi, whatever you want to down in the comment section. But as always guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.